So I'm going to be going over the essentials of React Router so you can start adding it to your own project. So we're going to be starting with how you can actually set it up in a new project, then how you can add routes, change the routes from any page, uh, and then lastly, how you can add parameters to your routes so you can actually have variables in them. All right, so we're going to be starting from the root of our project. So this is the root of my project right here. It's very simple. And this is usually where you want to set up a React Router. So I already have installed React Router DOM, and you're going to want to do the same thing. And the first thing you're going to do is get the browser router and import that. So we are going to render a browser router, and then inside of this, we can render a router, or sorry, a route. All right, and so what's composed of, of our route here is we say uh, path, and this is the path that you actually want the, comp uh, the route to be rendered for. So for example, if I just want a slash, and then you specify a component that you want to be rendered on at this path. So I'm gonna create a new component here called home.tsx, because I'm using TypeScript, and I'm going to say home, and here we're just going to render a div called home. So if you're using JavaScript, you don't have to worry about th this part. Um, but if you create a component like so, in your route over here, you can pass the name of your component. So I called mine home. Oops, not home dir. So now what's going to happen is whenever I'm on the slash route, it's going to display my home component. So now if I go over to my browser, I can see home. Now if I add another route, let's say about, we can add an about component and render that here. All right, so I got my about component. Now I'm gonna import it over here. So now I can see home if I'm on the slash route, but if I go to slash about, I now see about. Now, interesting enough, we also see home and we see about. And the reason for that is by default, um, or at least with the settings we have right here, React Router will render all the routes that match. So as you can see, slash about, this path actually matches that route as well. Now you can tell it to be exact if you use the exact property you can pass to the route. So what that means is it will only render the home component um, if we go to slash or it'll only do slash about if we go to slash about. All right, so now it's only showing about here. Um, and if we get rid of exact, just to show you another example, is like I could go to about slash me and it sh still shows about. So depending on what the behavior you want, uh, you may want to put exact and sometimes you don't want to put exact, depending on whether you want exactly this path or anything that matches the path. The other thing you can do, which I usually add to my projects, is wrap the browser with a switch. Oops. So this switch is coming from React Router DOM as well. And what the switch does is it makes sure only one route is displayed at once. Um, it only selects one route, at least here. So if that's the behavior you want, um, then you can use a switch and you can wrap it like so. Now, usually in my applications, I only want to display one page at a time. Um, so I'll usually use a switch outside and I'll have routes like this. And uh, now if we go to slash about, you can see it still shows up here. Um, you'll also notice now, if we get rid of the word exact, right, you'll notice it only um, displays home, right? Because this time we're only rendering the first route that matches. In this case, it's this slash route here. Um, so this comes in handy um, because you can display 404 routes. So here I can have a slash at the end, which is a 404 route. So I could say exact and exact here. And if you don't want to pass a component in here, you can also do render. 
and this is where you can actually just get a function in here and display some JSX if you like. So I can just do here and I can do 404. So what's going to happen is it's going to try to match this path exactly. Um, if it does, it's going to render home, then slash about. Um, and it doesn't. if it doesn't find any of those routes, you'll notice that this matches every single route because we didn't pass the word exact. So that's how you can do a 404. So now it's going to happen if I go to about slash me, we're going to see a 404 page. Um, so this is pretty handy, and this is another one that I'll do in my applications, is I'll put this at the bottom to catch any um, 404, any routes that don't match. Um, all right, so that is how we can create routes. So you create your React component, um, and then you pass it um, right here to a route with the path you want it to be rendered on. Now let's talk about how you can change routes. So I want to press a button, for example, and I want to change routes. So we're going to go over uh, two ways of how you can do that. So let's start with our home page over here. And we're going to create a button inside of this. So I'm going to say button, and I'm going to say go to about. And when we click this, um, we want to go to the about page. So we can use the link component um, from React Router DOM. And actually, there's really no reason for me to make this button. Just create this as a link like that. And I believe by default, it'll create it as a link. Um, and so here we pass two as the property, and then we do the path we want it to go to. So for example, slash about. All right, so now I'm going to just go to my home page. And we can click on my link, go to about, notice the URL up here, and it changes to slash about. All right, cool. So that is how we can create links that go to other pages. Um, you just pass in the string here. Um, now let's talk about how you can do this with, say, a button. All right, click me to go to about. Or basically any event. Doesn't have to be a button click. Like maybe, for example, we want to make an API call. And then after that, we want to change to the about page. So what we could do is we could make our API call and then right here what we put is history dot push and then we pass in our path which is uh, slash about. All right, so where is this history coming from? Well, this is something we actually get from our props. So we can say history here. And if you're using TypeScript, the way you can get uh, definition for this is um, in your props here, you can either say extends uh, route component props. So this is a type that comes from React Router DOM. And you can ignore this if you are using uh, just JavaScript. All right, so now we're going to see we have this history. And the reason why we have access to this is because the route here is going to pass it to home, or it's going to pass it to the about component. And so we have access to history because of that. And so we can call history.push and it's going to take us over there. All right, so let's come to the slash here and we're going to click to about and now we transition pages like that. So awesome. The other thing you should know about this is we have other properties up here that we have can access. So if I just show you my auto completion here, we have access to location and match. So location and match. And I'm just going to console log the location so you can see what information that gives you. It's just going to give you information about where the page is and if we have any parameters. So here you can see we have hash, path name, search. And uh, for example, I can say 1 is equal to true. And it parses out this, this guy right here, the query string, into search. So if you say location.search, uh, you get a string of whatever the query string is up here. So that can be handy at some times. Um, and then our match is used for parameters um, in the route. So let's talk about that. So let's say I want to uh, go to slash about one or slash about two and so on. Um, actually, let's change the word about. This is really makes more sense for, say, posts. All 
All right, so we're going to create a post component. So now what I want to do here is I want to render what the post that the user is on. So really what I'd like is I'd like to say post slash and I'd like to capture whatever uh, string the user happens to put after the slash. For example, if they put a one, a two, or they say the word Bob, I want to capture all that. So how do you do that? Well, if you put a colon and then you say uh, a word or a variable name basically, it's going to capture that. For example, ID. So this path, what it's going to do is it's going to match all the ones where it's slash posts and then there's some string after it. And it's going to store that string in a variable called ID. So we can access that over here in our posts. So here I'm going to say extends route component props. And now this actually takes angle brackets. We can pass in an object and I'm going to say an ID, which is a string. Um, so this basically tells React Router what I named my parameter. And so now I can say match.params.id. And we can also just console log match so you can see exactly what it's going to display for us. And, oh yes, we need, we need to import this. Okay, so we imported our post here and we have it rendering on this route. So now let's see what this looks like in action. So now if I go to posts slash three, renders three here. And if we see what the match variable looks like, you can see what it is right here. So params ID is gonna have that value for us. This is the thing we care about and has some extra uh, fields on there that you may care about. But params ID is what we do. So now if I type Bob, Bob is gonna show up there. Um, and so this is basically can capture whatever string the user puts. So this is perfect for when you want to have like a dynamic value here. So like posts one or two, and you can wanna capture say the ID of something. Um, and then you can use that ID over here um, to either f make a fetch to the API with this ID or something like that. Um, so like, for example, you could stick this in a use effect right and then we could say fetch in here and uh, fetch our API so maybe like api.example.com and then we're gonna make a fetch right to like posts and then we can pass in our params ID so this just gives you an idea as so you could fetch this and then you could update the ID or you could add some state to handle that um, all right, and if we want to navigate to this page, so let's make in our about. Again, we could either use history or we could use a link. So uh, go to post one. You can go slash posts. And then let's say we want to store this in available, so like in a variable, so like post ID, and it's like five, you could do something like this. So this is a very common occurrence. Uh, maybe I wanna store this value in a state, um, and that value I then pass to the link, and that's what I go to. All right, let's go to about, and now we can go to post one, and then we put that variable up there, um, and it's displayed there. All right, and we can go back if we want to. All right, so really the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is how we can access the, you can see how we can add links anywhere we want by just using this. But what happens if we'd like to get the match or the location anywhere? And let's also print this out. So for example, if I create a new one here called special button, right? And on my special button, I wanted this to take you to a special post or something. And I wanted to have access to the history. 
and let's say I want to render it on my home page here. So I render my special button. And what you'll notice is the special button, because it's rendered here, it doesn't have access to history, location, match, all this stuff, because it's not a route. So what I could do is I could pass that value to my special button here. Um, but what we can do instead, what's even better, I could say export. Actually, we don't even have to export. We can just pass it in here. We can use a higher order component called with router. So here I am wrapping my component. This is my component and with routers on the outside. Um, and it's coming from React Router DOM. And so what this gives us is history, location, match, all the data for the page that we're on. So what we can do is we can say history, history.push slash posts slash special, right? And so now we have access to this, access to the match, any information we want about the page by doing that. Um, and I think this is mad at me because maybe I need to do remove this. There we go. So we'll give that a save. Um, is it mad at me over here? No, I think it just needs to restart. Restart the server. So you can add the with router higher work component to any component that you want access to the routing information. All right, so now if I go to my home page, I can see my special button here. I can press that and that takes me uh, there. So there you go. That is an introduction to React Router and hopefully gets you up to speed on some of the important parts so you're ready to start using it.